All right. Welcome, welcome back to the next part of Metro Exodus. Oh my God, I can put coal in the fire. I had no idea you could do that. Bass. Oh, the Geiger counter's going up. Oh, no time like the present. Let's go save wifey. So, how do you find the road to your dream? <laughs> do you wish we never set out? I can see that. Well, let's put those feelings away. Millie, you're such an asshole, bro. Shut up, Miller. What? The fuck? The man just teleported out of the car. Bro. Here's the metro. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit. Made it. <laughs> oh! Stay away. Stay away. You look ugly. Oh, wonderful. A bunch of them. Why are you running towards me? Oh my god, what the fuck are these? Oh, shut up, Miller. Oh. See ya. What? You? Fuck off. They're like moles. Not to be confused with your mum, but... Oh yeah, that reminds me too. I had a weird dream this morning, right? Before I was waking up, right? I had this dream. I was... For some reason, I'm I'm really down bad at the moment. So I was dreaming about a girl, okay? Um, so I'm trying to win this girl's affection, right? And we're like going all these different places or whatever. And I apparently, for some reason, in my dream, I have to win the affection of her like dad over as well. Or like win his approval or some shit. And I had to go fucking do pottery classes. I'm so down bad. See, for fucking... <laughs> For a woman, I did fucking pottery classes, okay? Jesus. My brain's wild. Had to hit a low to get a lady. True. Fucking pottery, bro. Oh my god, yes. Miller, get the fuck out of the way. I need the workbench. You cunt. I need that. Oh. Time to loot everybody? Shit. Who would have thought grave robbery would be fun? What? How? You're not wrong. This gun is fucking broken. Hey. What? This gun is fucking broken. Just one shotting everything. Ow, fuck off. That's why Miller was carrying it. True. And do it. Hey, oh. Hey. Hey! Fuck off. Your mom's your dad. <laughs> Okay, I have a, I have a really sneak, I have like a sneaky suspicion that Miller's going to die. I think he's going to die. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Lock and load in tactical mode. United States Marines. Am I going to stop for every single one of these? I absolutely am. And you can't stop me. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, at least I got the shotgun back. Hey! Shut up. All right, I have no idea where I'm going. Dead. 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 Another one dead. <laughs> this gun is so fucking broken. What the fuck? That's insane. This is like the cheapest ammo you can make too. Holy shit. What's with the, uh, hanging testicles? What do they do? 
Oh, I just come everywhere. <laughs> okay, cool. I get knocked down. I get up again. Don't do it. You asshole. I would retaliate. I would retaliate too. But there's too many of them. All right. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Oh! What is that? Ew. A leech? Ew. Oh, shit! Oh my god. Hey. Oi. What the fuck? Dude, that's what happens when you don't clean up your tissues after you come. They just come alive. <laughs> they just, they just go alive. Can I loot these guys? Do you have anything of use in you or are you just like these big like cum snakes? Not, nothing. They're just big cum snakes. Oh, well, that's shit. Oh well. Will you cum snake stop that? I don't want to be here anymore. Everything's coming at me! Stop it! Spitters or quitters, stop it. Please, God. Just out of spite, I hate those guys. Whatever happens, please do not eat me through the grate. Thank you. Yours sincerely, Artyom. Bro, these things are like the given sloppy toppy. The sloppy seconds, true. Oi, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! I hate this place. Oi! You fucking shithead! Hold on, I reload. Ow! You fucking assholes! Fuck me! Jesus, what is this, Australia? Christ! Bunch of danger noodles everywhere! Come here. Oh, stick your head up. Come on, be an asshole. Yeah, there you go. Fuck off. Don't come back. Noxious. Fucking asshole. Anyway. Oh, this looks a little nicer. Let me in! Thank you. Holy shit. Any other stuff? Yes. Good. 24 seconds. Holy shit. What a, what a steal. <laughs> what a steal. 12 seconds. Even more of a steal. Please, God, stop hitting me with radiation. Holy shit. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Oh, God, what the fuck? Let me out of here. Oh, my God, yes. Kids don't do radiation. True. Exactly. There's one thing you take from my stream. Don't do radiation. Whatever you do. Avoid the light. It drains your filters. Oh, does it? Oh, of course there's a... Fucking gorilla. No, please don't. Oh, fuck off. Oh, you got no eyes. Oh, yes, thank you. Fuck off. Hold on. Just need to, yeah. Bomb out. Yeah, have another one. There you go. Yeah, have another one. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, use more explosives, okay? Enough radiation in here to cause me cancer like seven times over. I've got lung cancer, brain cancer, colon cancer. Got all the can. I've got even. I've got really bad bum cancer now. Okay, like I'm fucked. This place is shit. Okay. How about no? How about no? Oh shit! <laughs> I killed myself. Whoops. Yes, exactly. Cancer upon cancer, but no superpower. Hi. No doubt. Wait, what? That's killing me from all the way over here? Bro! I'm not even near it. Alright, fine. Third time's a charm, I hope. B5 fo fum. Big ass monkey. About to fuck me in my bum. If I stay all the way over here, can I do it? 
I can. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm somewhat of an explosive expert myself. Feel bad here? I feel worse. I've got cancer on top of cancer. Uh, Don't send me back into another dimension. Stop it. Stop it. Oh shit. No, fuck off. Your mum's your dad. No, nope, not accepting it. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Go away. Your mum's your dad. Your sister's your partner. Thank you. Also, in other news, this railgun is actually bullshit OP, and I like it. I'm trying to go Super Saiyan mode, but the radiation's hitting different. Where you going? Bro, this guy is so powerful, he can go through walls. Good to know you can attack then. I was stopping this bad boy. I am literally just attacking them. There is no way I'm trying to stop these things. Yeah, I'm trying to make it. Ugh. Bro, this is like every time you go when you're constipated and you're trying to take a shit, and it just it causes this horrendous feeling in your stomach. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Miller, please, God. <gasps> he called me son. <gasps> he gave me his dose. Oh, does Miller die? Oh, I don't want Miller to die. Miller's cool. <laughs> Let's see what ending he got. What? Miller? Miller? We're driving, boys. True. Let's go. I love four wheel driving. Not really four wheel driving. Fuck, that moon's bright. Or is that the sun? Oh! Hold on, Krill. All right. Ooh, uh, can't see shit. All right. Should be good. All right. Out of the way. Ah. Uh, come on. You got this little van. Go. Oh, shit. Did we do it? Daytime. Miller. Miller. Has two ends for a game, does it? Oh. Miller? Miller? Oh no! Oh no, Miller died! Oh shit. Ah, there's the Aurora! Our boy Miller doesn't make it either. Oh fuck. Now to find out your fate. Oh shit. Hey! Hello, Snowflow. <laughs> what do we do? Tell us. An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Maybe positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't That's incredibly sleep. lucky. You can't go to sleep now. Hey! We'll do something about that. Artyom is so lucky he has an AB positive blood type because I think that's a universal recipient. He's so fucking lucky. Come on. This, uh, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> somewhere i am no longer an outsider you keep us together artyom you must survive for all of our sakes will do big fella hear me artyom you've got a wife you need to work on making kids with and my fiance is still in moscow we still have to stir some shit up back in the metro so don't you fucking dare die here <laughs> oh this is really nice 
This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. <laughs> you were always ready, and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her, now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> Roger. I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. Aww. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> sure can, Milo. <clears throat> and the most important thing. My time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up. Lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. Ah. Flashbang out. <laughs> we found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, Aww. who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. <laughs> nice. What would your orders be, sir? Let's have a drink. I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. Aww. Damn, I don't know the game was this. I don't know this is the last thing of the game. Shit. Wow. You see the bad ending of the YouTube video, curious? Yeah, like. I think. Out of all of the games, I think this is probably the best one. Uh, mainly for the fact that it's a bit more open world. It had a bit more like customization of weapons and stuff. But. Uh, I knew, like, I knew eventually, like, somebody had to, like, die, like, as in, like, uh, like, narrative-wise, but to be fair, like, I think Miller is the best choice. But overall, I think this is a really well-done series. Um, like, one was really good. Um, two, I liked a bit more because there was the dark one. It was really cool to explore there. Um, and then now... <laughs> Like, the third game, I think, was, like, just the cherry on top. I feel like this is probably one of the very few game series I've played where it feels like it's a constant improvement upon the, like, last one. Um, like, from 2033, they spent more time 
um, on the narrative and stuff like that. Um, well, not the narrative per se, but they spent more time building up the characters, building up a lot of the relationships with people. Um, and this one, I think, just sort of, like, put a chair on top of all those relationships, building up other characters and stuff. It was really cool how, like, the levels had, like, different, um, like, I guess, like, key characters or, like, the side character was the focus of that level. So, um, where was it? The first place we went, where was that? That was the, um, it wasn't the desert, it was somewhere else. Yeah, Voga, where, yeah, the snow. The, like, the focus of that was, um, Stefan. And I think it was really cool that the, they focused on those side characters and made them part of it. So, like, Voga was, like, the snow part. Then we went to, um, the desert, I think, after that. Um, which was really cool. So then we focused on, uh, oh, no, it was, it was Stefan and Duke. So it was cool to have, like, Stefan as well. Oh my god, Anna's name. <laughs> Jesus. I think Jameson Price has done like a lot of stuff in um anime as well. Yermak as well. I think it was cool like when we um we went to the desert as well, um Demir became the focus of it as well. Like I just think in general the game did a really good job at like spending time developing the characters and having fun. Um I think my one, like, my one complaint, or, like, my two biggest complaints in this game were, one, the boat glitch. I don't know what the fuck causes that. I don't know if there's, like, a mod or something you can install to, like, fix it. But every time, like, you get out of the boat, sometimes it doesn't, like, turn around or whatever, and you have to, like, quick load the save. Um, and then the second thing I didn't really like was... Uh, I felt like a lot of the places were a little bit too small. Like, a lot of the, um, like, locations you went to, uh, like, for example, like, if we take Volga, for example, a lot of it was water and traveling around, so the boat glitch made it really painful to get around. Um, but, like, I think, re actually, realistically, I think my only complaints are the boat glitch. That's the main thing I found really annoying. Um, oh, yeah, and some of the movement, too. The movement felt like you are floating on air sometimes, especially when you're jumping from point A to point B. It feels like this very, like, floaty feeling, but uh, I think, like, in general, it's a pretty fun overall experience. This is, like, definitely a series I'd recommend to anybody to play. It's... I feel like it's a constant improvement. Like, I think that was the big downfall of, like, Dead Space, was that Dead Space 1 was, like, pretty good. Actually, I think it was probably the best. Dead Space 2 was an improvement on Dead Space 1. Um, in terms of giving Isaac a voice or whatever, but then Dead Space 3 just, like, dropped the ball really badly because it tried to be a fucking co-op experience when it was, like, supposed to be a single-player game. Um, whereas this, it just, it continuously, like, followed stuff. Metro Exodus title sequence created by Elastic. Oh. But yeah, they did, I think they did a really good job at this game. It was really nice, too, because, like, the, the massive upgrade and, like, graphic fidelity, too, was also something to note as well. But I'm glad we spent, like, time going around. I'm glad that, like, we finally went outside the metro. We explored places. But, yeah. I also think that one of the best things they did, too, was, like, provide, like, a semi-open world experience, too. Because the other two games were really linear and how you had to, like, traverse places. But, but yeah. I'm kind of sad the game's over. I thought there was, like, probably, like, at least one more um, episode to go or whatever. But apparently not. What a, what a great fucking series. See, I really wish that, like, games were like this now. Like, they feel... It feels like every other game I play now is, like, this perpetual game of, like, they have to just keep adding content to it, like, the live server stuff. It never feels like I can just buy an experience and then just have that experience there. Like, I think... The Witcher 3, like, was a game I played, like, a couple of times, and, like, having the two DLCs, um, that felt like a really good addition. Like, that was the content there, and there was so much you could explore, but... It feels like now every other, like, game that you play is, like, live service. So if you want to access new stuff with the lore or whatever, you have to wait for the new fucking Battle Pass to come out. Yeah, if they ever stop and make it fully offline with all the content. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like... I know why they do it, though. It's because they, they can pump out, like, half ass fucking content. See, for, like, half... Not even half the price, but, like, for charging full price for, like, a full DLC that literally has, like, the bare bones content that's added to it. Like, it's dog shit. There's no reason for you to do it. It's just ridiculous and retarded. I just, I don't, 
I hate how people are like praising live service as if like it's a good way of like producing content. It's not. It produces like half ass content. And it just streamlines it as well. And then everybody just keeps buying it and purchasing it all the time. So I just... I'm kind of pissed that like a lot of games now kind of just gone to shit. It's kind of funny though because a lot of the um... Like older games that are getting remastered like the Resident Evil series. It feels like other companies or indie companies like outside of um, Western Studios or whatever. So like the Resident Evil series from like Capcom in Japan or whatever. Um, it seems like they're really... Yeah, greed. It's just... And it's not even just like greed either. It's not just the money component of it as well. It's that people who are like taking hold of it have no respect for the IP. They don't give a fuck about the IP. They don't give a fuck about the story that's been developed. That's the same thing with like Disney when they took over Star Wars. They don't give a fuck about the IP. They just care about the money with it. Yeah, exactly. And the executives too. And if there's like genuinely like directors or even developers of a game or whatever who genuinely love a game or whatever, they are now told to fuck off because they're trying to like appease executives and like stakeholders and shit. Not stakeholders, shareholders. So, like, I understand, like, you want to see a return on your investment, but, like, fuck me. It's just so annoying. Oh, speaking of Japan, look at that. So, yeah, but, like, right now, I, th I don't think there's been, like, really that many, like, single-player games to come out that are really good. Like, I think God of War 2018 came out. That was pretty good. God of War Ragnarok came out. The Spider-Man, like the first, like the Amazing Spider-Man or whatever came out. Miles Morales came out, and then Spider-Man 2's come out as well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's like any other story-driven games that I've kind of gone, yeah, these are pretty good for like what they are. Um, I kind of feel like Miles Morales was like it's a full game, like it's a you're spending like a full like what is it, 80 bucks or something, or like 60 bucks. It's 80 bucks for us because we're like in fucking Australia, but like in America, you spend like 60 dollars like USD on like a fucking game. But it feels like more of a DLC, like the content there just isn't worth what's put there. But. But damn. I'm kind of sad. I hate when you finish a game or like finish a TV series, you feel like really sad. Like, you just, there feels like there's an emptiness inside of you now. Because like, this is probably one of the very few games or like game series where I've gone, I'm really attached to this. Like. With Dead Space, like Dead Space 1 and 2, I was like really happy to see that. But when Dead Space 3 hit, I'm just like, the ending sucks. I don't fucking care about Dead Space 3 anymore. Like, I don't care about Isaac or anything like that. But this, I genuinely like feel sad to like not experience any more of the series. Or like see RTM or like talk about that sort of stuff. Or, you know, go around and play missions as RTM. It'll be cool too. The software contains Autodesk code developed by Autodesk and copyright. Holy shit, they used Autodesk in this? What the fuck? Bro. By the way, the reason why I'm surprised like they use Autodesk is because Autodesk is notorious for being CPU fucking intensive. Maya 3D. Wait, is that actually seriously a Autodesk thing? I didn't know that. Oh, I should probably leave it up. This software is based on the work of an independent JPEG group. Oh, based. Metro Exodus. Very based. Autodesk Maya. Oh, okay. Is Maya like a game engine? Like the Autodesk created like a 3D game engine or whatever? Or... Damn, we finished the game. Holy shit. 3D model maker. Oh. You can play new downloadable content by choosing it in the chapter menu. Wait, there's downloadable content? Witness the story of the last year of life of the Nozo Metro through the eyes of the Colonel. Oh! Lies well, Sam bids farewell to the Aurora and her crew and takes the rail world as far east as he can, hoping to find means of crossing the Pacific and the ports of the Earth. Oh, okay, so we could probably do the DLCs. I won't do them today, but I might do them next week. Oh, there's two DLCs here. All right, cool. Warning: DLC contains spoilers for the main story campaign. Yeah, who cares? Well, okay, based. So there is still more content. All right, cool. All right then. Thank you for everybody coming along.
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know I had DLC. It just showed me then, so I didn't know I actually had the DLC, so that's cool. There's like two DLCs we can play later on. Or next week. So Thursday will definitely be this, and then probably Friday I'll have to do maybe the evil within. Because like Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm gonna be doing Minecraft again. I need to try and find out. I need to do more stuff in Minecraft. I need to find some music to play in the background too, because like just me playing Minecraft isn't exactly the most entertaining thing. But yeah, in any case, thank you everybody for coming along. Muchly appreciate it. Thank you for all the likes. Actually, there's no likes on Twitter. Fuck, I'm retarded. But thank you for watching. Like, subscribe to the stream, uh, the video as well. Uh, my socials, follow those so you know when I'm going live. And bye. Uh, I love you. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, everybody. I'll catch you guys.